Well, this was just a, an almost unbelievable scene. This was Chopper 5 over a fire last night. A northwest side of car apartment complex. One woman died. Nearly a dozen homes were affected. Firefighters uh, had been at this Ashley Oaks apartment complex all night long. They're still there this morning, Charlie, and we understand that crews are just trying to make sure that fire doesn't flare back up. Absolutely, Barry. You can tell the level of devastation that happened here on Parkdale. Simply from looking at this building behind me, it's clearly charred. Uh, SAFD have actually just done a shift change because they've been out here for about eight hours now, making sure that hot spots are out, making sure that this area is essentially safe or as safe as it could possibly be after a devastating fire like this took place. They were actually called out here to Parkdale Street last night around 10 when they say they found heavy fire on the second and third floors of this building. And they say they don't know what caused the fire just yet. But what we do know is that it started near a bedroom and it posed so much of a threat to the people inside that one person actually jumped off the balcony to save themselves. And you can just tell the desperation there. That person is right now at a local hospital this morning with another person who suffered from minor burns on their hands. Unfortunately, a woman on the second floor didn't make it out alive, although firefighters did try their best to get her out. Um, and one woman who was able to get out told us that she had no warning from any smoke alarms in the building that there was even a fire happening. So this morning, eight adults and two kids are displaced. They don't have anywhere to go, but they are seeking assistance right now. Back to you. Thanks, Charlie. Well